Hi guys, this is Bird, your curvy sewist. Many sewists and DIYers have come to rely on Joanne Fabrics for many of the things that we need for our hobby and our craft. If you haven't heard, Joanne Fabrics has filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy. There is a restructuring plan in place, so my understanding is most of the stores will remain open for now. This is part two in a three-part series as we begin to look at what are the options for us should Joanne Fabrics go out of business and actually close their doors. Check out the first series where I walked us through Hobby Lobby. Today, we're gonna walk through Michael's, but let's take a look around Joanne's. So we already know that Joanne Fabrics does a, I would say a B++ job as it relates to all different types of fabric. There's nothing like actually being able to touch fabric. And so I do enjoy being able to do that in a store. Beyond fabric, Joann's has an assortment of other different types of DIY painting supplies. This is actually an aisle that has a number of sewing items such as buttons and things like that. They have a pretty decent selection of all of those things scissors, pins, clips, seam rippers. You can find all those things. The sales are usually pretty good. Today's sale happened to be buy three, get three free. Lots of nice things that you can choose from in Joanne Fabrics. Beyond all of the sewing gadgets and tools and things like that, Joanne's has a pretty decent assortment of other types of craft and DIY things. So this is actually a section where there are baking items. So really not baking items, but people who like to design cakes. I didn't even know that they had this section because I come in and I look at fabric. I don't even go over to this section, but they have all of these things there as well. So definitely it's way bigger than just fabric. Let's head into Michael's I can usually find a Michaels um, within probably 10 minutes to maybe, I think the other one is probably about 25 minutes away from me. So if I don't find something in one, I can go to the other store. This Michaels is brand new. It has only been open now for less than a year. I think it's a pretty big store. They have lots of different items there as well. Lots of DIY items. I'm in the sewing section and guys, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I'm disappointed. They have a couple sewing machines. They have some thread. They have some interfacing. They have a couple different gadgets and things of the like. But what I am not seeing, at least in this Michaels, there is no fabric, not a single bolt of fabric in this brand new Michaels store. Now, what I hear is that there are other Michaels in different locations that actually have a fair assortment of fabric. But for me, Michaels definitely will not be able to be my source for fabric. Certainly, if you need yarn or painting supplies and some things like that, fine. But for me, there's no fabric here in this Michael, so I'm really out of luck. So in this particular case where I am, I'm going to have to drive a greater distance maybe to another Michael should Joann's go out of business. Well, y'all, stay tuned because next week we are going to go into Walmart and see what they might be able to offer. That's all I got for you right now. Those are my thoughts on Michael. Remember, don't come for me. These are my thoughts only. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Drop the comments. Happy sewing.